Squad family. It is Sunday morning. For many of you guys, you already know, I try my best to incorporate the word from church into the videos. Y'all, y'all see how your girl looking? I ain't even put my ponytail on, y'all. For y'all that don't know, that's how we do our little bun. We put, I got hair. I got hair. I just never put it, I just don't never wear my hair. Because I don't be liking the comb it. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. You call me lazy, whatever. But, I um, got my robe on, but I'm about to get dressed. So, we're going to go from this look right here to this look right here. All right, guys. I'm already headed to church. I just wanted to let you know. I'll tell you how I was going to get it together. Your girl got it together. But, I'm going to see y'all when we get to the church house. So, yeah. Stay tuned. What? Don't you fast forward it. Stay right here. I know y'all with the word. Today is Sunday, guys. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get in the church. Y'all ready? One, two. That's right. But God didn't call you for church. He called you and assigned you to him because you are the church. Amen. Pastor, give me Matthew 9 and 12. We're going somewhere today. Can we go somewhere? Amen. Welcome to Kingdom Talk. Amen. Amen. Don't be so churchified, amen. God wants to deal with the real you, and that's the only, because he called you. He loved you despite of you, how you are. See, God knows you. Yes. God knows exactly who we are, people of God. God knows every flaw. God knows every insecurity. God knows you just the way you are. And guess what? He loves you just that way. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that behold me, not a physician, but they that are sick. One more time, Pastor. But when Jesus heard this, he said unto them, They that behold me, not a physician, but they that are sick. God said, he said this, he said when I heard this, They that behold. We're going to stay right there. They that behold. Let me say it one more time. Thank you, Holy Ghost. They that be whole. Who's in here is whole? Is there anybody in the room whole? Amen. Yes. Is there anybody in the room who is, say it with me, church, whole? Oh. Raise your hand if you're whole. I'm going to put mine down. Because even though I preach it, it's me. They got a home. See, when we come to church and want to put church, we let everybody know that guess what? I got it all figured out. And Jesus can't step in when you think you got it all figured out. <coughs> this is why we walk around with sickness. This is why we walk around with undelivered because we think we already got together because God saved us. <coughs> but He said they that are whole need not a physician. But they who are sick. I got any sick people in the room today? I got it, man. I got it, man. And I'm not talking about worldly sick. I'm talking about spiritual sick. This is what I'm trying to share with you that God loves you. He saved you, even though you was. Amen. Come on now. I'm not going to get any 
God saved you. He hung bled on the cross. Took a whooping. Was stripped down from his glory. Amen. Even though you were sick. Amen. Thank you, Lord. They got a hole. God would rather deal with you the way you are. Because here's the thing, you may be able to lie to the person next to you or get away that you got it all figured out the person next to you, but he said, look at my child, she is sick as she can be. Come on now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Look at him. I don't care how much, many muscles he's got. I don't care how big his bank account is. Guess what? My son is sick. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Amen. He said, come unto me. Ye that are heavy, laden, and burdened, and I will give you rest. Why do you think he's telling you to come to him? Because he knows you are. Sick. Yeah. Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. God, God. God only, only deals with, deals with sick, people. sick people. Give God praise. Amen. Every day, there was an old song that said, I need thee. Every minute of the hour, I need thee. Right? Because guess what? We need God every single day of our life. Guess what? This is because we got saved. We've been washed. Oh, I speak in tongues. That don't mean a thing. Amen. Amen. That's just an application to let you know that God is with you. But the point is, I'm making is that you can't never get to a place that think you got it all figured out. Because guess what? The minute I do, God moves out the way. Amen. Amen. Ooh, that's good. Mm, 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 mm. Amen. Can we dig a little deeper? Yes. Let's go to Matthew, Pastor. Matthew 22. Start at verse 36 for me. Y'all better take some notes today, amen. We deal the day that are old. Well, Pastor, how else am I supposed to be? I'm not supposed to wear it. God said, I don't need you to wear it. I need you to be real with yourself. Amen. 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 This because you go out to the altar, are you really dealing with it? This because you cry out, are you really dealing with it? Amen. Because you can say that you've been delivered here, but the real deal is when you step outside these four walls. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's good. See, what I want you to start doing, Amen. I want you to dig deep in your core. Yes. Pastor, what you talking about core? I want you to dig deep in yourself. Yes. Here's the real deal. Read it, Pastor. Start at verse 36. Matthew 22 and 36. Read it. It says, Master, uh -huh. which is the greatest commandment in the law? That's right. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love, my, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. That's right. This is the first and greatest commandment. Read it. And the second is likened unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh -huh. On these two commandments is hanging all the law and the prophets. Keep reading. It says, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. Watch this. He said unto them, How then do David in spirit call him Lord? Watch this. Saying the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemy thy footstool. Stop, Pastor. Verse 38 says, To do what? Love. Thy neighbor. As, as you what? As, as thyself. See, I can't love you if I don't love me. That's right. Oh, that's good. That's Jesus good. is smart. God is smart. Ooh. He said, I want you to love them. Jesus. Yes. And this is why we hold grudges. <laughs> and this is why we can't love one another. Yes. Because deep down inside, I don't love me. Ooh, come on, I'm man. not happy with come me. On. So God said, love the Lord thy God with all my heart. Yes. And with all my strength right. and all my might. He said, you follow these things. These two are the greatest commandments. And then he put a twist on it. Somebody shout twist. Twist. He said, love thy neighbor. Mm -hmm. yes. As you love yourself. Yes. Love. 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 